Mommy South Africa is coming to this country and is already here. It's just growing because there's no one to stop it. I believe that uh, President Trump will stop it uh, once he's reelected, but no one is stopping it. Stopping it. And it, in South Africa, they destroyed the blacks over there, took over, and they destroyed the police departments. They um, um, ruling with destruction in South Africa. White people are afraid. Same thing here. They, they are now taking the land of white people in South Africa without compensation. That is starting to happen here. Excuse me. They're calling it reparation. They're calling it reparation over here. They're taking your land, folks. They're coming after your land. And you saw a little of that with Black Lives Matter this year, during this year, this terrorist attack upon America. The so-called uh, justice was really mob justice. I want to kind of update you on what's happening in South Africa so you can see that it's happening in America now. It's not a joke. It's a battle between good and evil. And the people on the side of evil are taking over those who are on the side of good because those who are on the side of good are running and hiding and thinking that somehow or another these people are going to back off. They're not. They're taking over your government. They're making new laws. And if you decide to stand against them, you're going to jail, even if you're protecting yourself. In South Africa, Far left radical groups hold a lot of political and cultural sway now. And don't you see that happening here? Look what's happening here, folks. The same thing is here. Groups like the economic freedom fighters, and that's a pan African far left group whose president is notorious for singing the song, Shoot the Boar, or the Boar. How do I say it? The Boar. Boar. Shoot the Boar, shoot the white folks. Shoot the white folks. Look at how they're attacking white America in this country. Mm -hmm. And if you dare to stand up for yourself, you're called white supremacists just for standing up for yourself. Same thing in Africa. And the white people back down when they call you names like that. If you notice, every time, not every time, most of the time when the president is questioned by far-left radicals, will you denounce white supremacy? Will you denounce white supremacy? They don't say anything about blacks, so-called supremacy. There's um, a guy by the name of William Pretzer. He is uh, a South African YouTuber. And he posted this video last Wednesday, which shows, really, really shows the world what's going on with the white farmers in South Africa. Once again, it's already happening here in America. Y'all better wake up. Before it's too, too late, here that first sound bite. Hello guys, Willem Pets here. It was very difficult for me to record this video because the events happening here is very, very sad. But I thought that I had to make this video in English to show the world what's going on here in South Africa. And also as a cry of help for the farmers that have lost everything here. All over South Africa, not just Herzogville where people are aware of it, we have seen numerous acts of arson being committed. All of this comes after the EFF's third in command, Ndlozi, sang a song in which he said, Go burn down the boor. Now, 
I know a lot of people from the mainstream media have already said that Kill the Boo that's being sung by Malema and by the ruling ANC over and over again is not an incitement to violence. So they'll probably say the same thing about this Burn the Boo song by Ndlozi. The fact of the matter is though that after he has sung this, a lot of farms, over a few hundred thousand hectares of farms have been burned down, millions of rands of feeds have been burned down, which were inside sheds. Me, that in the culture of the Zulu, singing is a way of giving commands. Singing is probably one of the most effective weapons being used as a way of giving commands to people. And this song is a definite command to say, go and burn down these farmers. Is it possible for us to even deny that there is a very clear correlation between him singing the song a few days ago and the last few days being an absolute hellhole of arson being committed all over the country? I ask you to please share this video all over so that the world can see exactly what's happening here in South Africa. Amazing. My Lord, I've had William on the show a couple of times. And why folks, I would wake up if I were you, I would vote out these people and vote in people who got to protect America and not go against America. It's just unfortunate that black people, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most, are so angry and evil that they are so destructive around the world. Is there any place in the world where black people majority are standing for good. I really want to know that. So I know it's not happening in my country here. Is there anywhere around the world where the blacks are standing up for good majority? And so you just saw what's happening in South Africa. I say it's happening here as well. Well, journalist Andy No posted this video, Antifa and Black Lives Matter mob harassing residents in Bellevue, Washington. Watch this. After the break. Oh, the break time? Okay, I gotta take a break. So I'm showing the similarities. It's happening here, folks. Somebody, whomever pushing that in South Africa is pushing it here as well. They are training the blacks to be out of control and the young whites who are spoiled and corrupt and brainwashed. I, I, I want to show you the similarities here as to what is already happening in South Africa and how it is in America already. I've been saying that it was coming. It's here. It's here. This is journalist Andy No. He's posted this video of Antifa and Black Lives Matter harassing um, residents in Bellevue, Washington. Are they saying fire, fire, set the fire? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? That's amazing. That's what it sounds like to me. Huh? That's what it sounds like to me. Did it sound that way to you, Joe? Set the fire. Or set the fire? It sounds like either set the fire or sanctify it or sanctify it or something. I couldn't quite understand what they were saying. Fire, fire, sanctify. Set the fire. That what you heard too, Nick? I mean, Chris? Yeah, I thought they were saying fire, fire, set the fire. Amazing. James is saying that they were saying gentle fire. Uh, 
Maybe. By a fire identifier. Whatever they are saying, they should not be allowed to do that. That's not a peaceful protest. That's not a peaceful protest, folks. Y'all better wake up. Election time is coming real soon now. We need four more years of the Great White Hope, and we need to get in, in like Congress and the Senate and local government too. You need to vote the liberals out. You need to vote them out and put in men who are going to stand up for what is right. You've been warned. And the best way to do it is to get out and vote. Go to the poll and vote. These people out and vote in people who will stand up for the country, not based on color, but America. Put America first. All right? Do what you want, but because if the Democrats get in there and the liberals take over the way that they're doing you're going to have South Africa all the way here. And there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show for us. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. <laughs>